everyone, Pete here with The Golf Paradigm. Today I want to talk about how do you know if your clubs are the right length, in particular your irons, and what effect does it have on you not only to hit the ball consistently and solid, but to also avoid injury. So I want to show you how today. So there's a lot of different ways out there to measure uh, what club length is probably the most popular, but probably one of the, the one that is not validated by any means is uh, contact tape. So it's where they put some tape on the uh, club face, have you hit balls and whatever balls you hit closer to the center, they say that's the length that you should have. But just what if your timing is better one day and you're hitting them all close? Then what's the verification of whether you should have 37 and a half versus 38? There almost isn't any. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get any yardstick or something longer. This one just happens to be a 48 inch ruler. Uh, I want you to stand straight up with your arms hanging down at your sides and for your uh, lead side arm, so for a right handed golfer, you want your left arm. You want to curl your fingers as if you're, going, you're carrying a bucket and you're going to measure to the second knuckle, that's the middle knuckle of your middle finger, okay? You're going to stand up straight wherever the middle knuckle, middle knuckle of your middle finger falls, that's going to give you a number. So for me, that's 33 inches, alright? Now the conversion is for if you were at 28 inches, your 6 iron, which is your middle iron, would be at 37 inches in length. For every incremental inch you move longer or shorter, you would adjust the length of your club by a quarter inch. So I'm 28 to 33, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 1 and a quarter inches, which means my 6 iron should be 38 and 1 quarter inches in length. If you were uh, 26 inches to your middle knuckle, that'd be uh, one two quarter inches or a half inch shorter than 37 so you'd be 36 and a half and you can see how that goes now why is that so important because the middle knuckle of the lead hand in any golf swing is as close to the middle of the hands as you can get and there is a approximately or very close to a two and a quarter to two and a half ratio of how far all the rotating parts in the swing move meaning how far your hips rotate how far your hands travel, or I'm sorry, how far your shoulders travel, how far your hands travel, and depending on what club you're swinging, how far the toe travels because the toe has the longest distance to go. Now we know through technology that all of those things don't get to their finish point simultaneously, but the messaging, the timing, the sequencing, and the, the, the uh, messaging from the brain senses all of those things getting closer there to their finish point, meaning as the hips finish their turn, shoulders, hands, and club head, et cetera, as they're nearing their points, the other things are starting to move in the other direction. That's very important because that will dictate your timing. So if a club, for example, is a little bit too short by as little as a quarter or a half inch, then in the rotation of the body and the hands and the club head is gonna be disrupted. So if the lever, meaning the club is too short, the toe of the club is gonna to get to the finished position before the body has a chance to complete its coil meaning your timing is, is, is disrupted as you start your transition. Conversely, if a club is too long and you try to make your backswing, your body has already coiled, but because the club is a longer lever and it has further to go for the toe to get to its finished position, the body is waiting and the timing sequencing of the brain and body say, time's up, dinner bell went off, we're going this way, even if the club never had a chance to get to set at the top in its finished position. So you can see how those two things um, can, too short or too long can disrupt your swing. Now athletes, uh, and the better the athlete, the, the, the more stubborn they are, will usually say, well I have great eye hand coordination, I can overcome that or it does not make that much of, of a difference to me. Au contraire, if you'll notice every single groove on a club is one eighth inch apart. The difference in your clubs being a half inch too short or too long is a difference, let's say it's too short, is the difference between hitting the ball on the bottom groove and hitting the ball right in the sweet spot. So if you think that you can have good enough timing to make that up for every swing, you go right ahead and knock yourself out. Um, but as little as a quarter inch will be two grooves, okay? If you're off a half inch, you're off four grooves, and that's a lot, okay? Now the other thing is, is if your clubs are too long and or too short, they will cause issues for you physically, for those of you that, that hit a lot of balls and play a lot, because as you're uh, going throughout your swing, it will cause you to do things in your swing. For example, if the club is too short, uh, no normally if you unwind, if you unwind, unwind your body at your normal rate of speed, the, you're going to hit the ball too low in the face. Well, if you're a good player and you hit enough shots thin, 
what's going to happen is subconsciously or consciously you're going to tell yourself to slow down coming impact let the club head catch up to your hands and bend longer and all of a sudden everything catches up and sinks itself back together and now within that split second you've got to kick start it to go forward again that's a loss of power that's a loss of consistency and that's a loss of center face contact it's not going to help you anyway and in the meantime it's putting an enormous amount of torque and pressure in your lumbar spine and your hips on your knees and everything else so if you want to avoid injury you want to hit the ball more solid more consistent everything else give that measurement a try i'm sure it's going to help you it's going to tell you whether your clubs are too long or too short you can modify that just by gripping up or adding some extensions you don't have to get new shafts and i bet your ball striking particularly with your irons goes to a whole new level hey everybody pete here from the golf paradigm thanks for watching the video you can check us out on facebook Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to watch more videos or subscribe, you can do it right here.